When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for erosion drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erusians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work, even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day should have stopped then, for all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now, they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Erugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home let alone the sky. The black forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland, she's right. It feels so far away now.
The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... which path you would choose... when looking at Harling's mirror. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, it'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contains. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space element. As it's a source of energy, Give the war mongers a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Erusia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air and the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass, if you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse and see the future. Dumbass? Sounds familiar. It certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island, the 444 squad. It's a message to all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for Trick. Guess we'll do what it says. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal bird. All right, guys, we are back with Ace Combat. So much is going on now. We're heading into this mission to take out the second arsenal bird. You'll remember that we took out the other one, but we had to use Stonehenge. We don't have that luxury here, so we're going to have to take it out uh, the old-fashioned way, um, which is going to be a uh, feat. So, everyone is getting tired of the war. Everyone would like to end it, except the Erusian Radicals that still want to keep fighting, but otherwise, we've got people from Osea, we've got people from Erusia that just want this to end. We're coming in with Count Jaeger Hujan. Over there, we got Fencer, Scald, Taylor, and Lanza. Taylor's named. I don't think we ever hear from them. Uh, also, you can see up there, we got more allies. And two people from Soul Squadron are coming in, which I think is pretty cool. And, uh, well, there's a lot of enemies out there. So. But we're heading back to the space elevator. It's pretty cool. Now, that uh, cutscene before the mission... Very dramatic and, and very complicated. A lot going on there. I don't even know if I can address all of it. They talk about Dr. Schroeder being from Belka. I don't have a lot of background on Belka because I think it came up more in the previous games. 
like he said, they did like lose a war and then instead of surrendering, they nuked themselves seven times. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. I think Belkins get a pretty bad rap because of stuff like that. One thing I thought of while watching that cutscene, and I hadn't thought of it before, but uh, you know, all the games in this series are loosely related. They all take place in the same world, but uh, for the most part, I think characters don't really cross over. Uh, it's always like a new story. But I was thinking, what if in a future game, Mihai's older granddaughter showed up? I think that would be cool. I don't know if she'd be a pilot, but if she showed up uh, as a tie into this game, I think that'd be pretty cool. Who knows if it'll ever happen. Okay, we have a lot of points, over a million. And we're taking on an arsenal bird, so we better be ready. I can get the Black Widow now, which would be pretty sweet. Um, do I have enough? I think I do have enough where I could get the Raptor as well. So let's look at the special weapons. If we take this, it's got high velocities, it's got four target airs, and the Raptor comes with quick maneuvers, cluster bomb, which I don't think will be helpful. Or that's like, those are like the tracking bombs or something. And eight target missiles, which is fun. There will probably be a lot of drones. And it brings 80 of them. Good lord. And the 4Ms only bring 40. Oh man, I want the 80 missiles. <laughs> Honestly. Um, and, they, and it brings more normal missiles. Yeah, we gotta get the Raptor. I'm gonna need all those missiles, right? 60,000, that's 980,000, plus 110. Yeah, we should have enough, I think. So we'll get gun alignment. Like, the Black Widow would be cool for sure, but I think this one's gonna be better for uh, what we're doing. That is some advanced technology. Very cool. And we'll get the eight, and there we go. Okay, I feel like that should have us pretty set for this mission. I've got a little bit left. Are there any parts I could grab? Bomb reload. I can get special missile power. That's always fun. But yeah, you know, we're, we're almost at the end of this game, and I managed to unlock a lot because I have played these missions before, and so I got a lot of points. But there's still a lot of stuff that we never got. And that's pretty fun. So I can go through the whole game again and get some of these other things. Okay, F-22A Raptor. Take these just for fun. Put on some parts. Okay, I threw on a lot of uh, missile improvements and then a couple of things uh, that helped me accelerate and decelerate. And also the one that uh, disrupts enemy missiles because there's going to be a lot fired at me. I can promise that. Okay, this is a big one. Let's do it. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Roger. 
They're going so slow, I'm stalling. Watch out for the missile. This plane feels really good. Turning's great. Very fast. I'm gonna need that for all these missiles. So many of them. Get off me. Hello. Don't stall. Are the friendly illusions rebels or what? They're rebels, but I'm sure it's more complicated than that. There we go. Brush up on current events later. Focus on the enemy. Copy that. Take a look. See that line continuing above the horizon? The cable goes up to the sky as far as the eye can see. Not many people know this, but the space elevator is the world's tallest transmission tower. Ugh. Leave me alone. I got stuff to do. Alright, so if we take out the manned planes that are leading, the drones should slow down. Not that I really have time to tell who's who. Not the time for murals. Go set. Let's go. Yes. Warning. Missiles launched from the Arsenal Bird. Uh oh. They're Helios projectiles. All aircraft stay clear of the blast area. Ten seconds to impact. Five. I'll try. Switch off the 
security system, but we've got this. If what he said is true, we will give us at least 10 seconds. Cosette! Cosette! What the hell's wrong with you? Get back here! You're doing pretty good. We have a problem. As long as I don't die. Oh, I dodged it. This will launch from the Arsenal bird. Shit, air burst tight. Where is it? Helios arriving in ten seconds. Five, four, okay. three, we're good. Two. Helios arrived. I'll be back for you. Nicole, I said we were going to take down the space elevator, but it's not like we can just go out there and chop it down. At the top of the windbreak, six location markers have been set in place. They monitor distortions in the space elevator. Those are the locations we need to target. Unbelievable. If Who is this guy? Bad, the elevator's observation system will think the elevator is falling. Until its safety can be confirmed, all microwaves will be stopped. Oh, I get it. What a party. I was going to do it myself. Dumbass. Helios launched from the Arsenal bird. Typhoon. Down. Five seconds. Three, two, impact now. Man, <laughs> this plane with the parts I put on it, I can speed up and slow down so fast. It's amazing. I get all of them? Wow. I got all of them. That's what we're talking about. The monster bird is in our trap. We'll use a saturation attack. Wait for the signal. Where'd you come from? I'm trying to act like I missed you by just showing up at the end? I don't think so. Here we go. Hey, look at the Arsenal bird. Lasers. Now it's got lasers. Targets. Enemy has a beat on you. Target acquired. Look at that light from the arsenal bird. <laughs> it's readying its APS. Ooh. All aircraft break off from the arsenal bird. Let's not do that. Whoa. 
We don't want to be involved in that. Where are we supposed to hit it? Look at all these things. We can no longer commence with a second saturation attack. All aircraft, separately engaged in direct attack. HQ, it won't be easy to take down the Oslo for with conventional weaponry. All the ace pilots in the world won't save us unless we have a plan. Strider one, nice work. Just give us time. We'll see what we can do. You're just thinking about it now? <laughs> you didn't plan for this beforehand? Alright, I got one of the propellers. Eight missiles are helping a lot. Your plane will ice up if you stay in there too long. When's that shield gonna lose power? What if we lose continuously since we're in the power? Then what should we do? Calm down. I'll do something. What are you gonna do? Let's smash it. Smash all six of the factors. It'll lose power.
units have been destroyed. The supply unit is ready to fall off. see the wreck tenant where the supply unit was. Destroy that, and even the mighty arsenal bird is sure to feel it. Lieutenant base unit confirmed destroyed. Lancaster. Oh my god. The arsenal bird is on fire. Trigger, break off. Arsenal bird is losing altitude rapidly. Arsenal bird is down. Lancaster, can you estimate the point of impact? Target's path. That's the last of the rogues. Even in death, that thing is intimidating. Got to land on an aircraft carrier. We are not quite done here. Both arsenal birds are now down. But as you saw, those two drones that Dr. Schroeder was talking about, the ones that had already been loaded with Mihai's data, they were built, and they're here. Let's try to not crash off of this. problem here is how short it is okay good stop <laughs> I know in the past I've hit that going too fast and I slipped off the end and crashed into the ocean all right no uh no debriefing at the end there look at everything we shot down and I got an A that was pretty good I did get destroyed a couple of times um I cut out most of those runs, but uh, I got hit by the APS one time, and I got hit by a Helios one time, because the, the radar zoomed out, and I couldn't see where it was going to hit, and I was right in it, so. But we made it through. That mission's really cool. Taking down the Arsenal Bird is, you know, super dramatic and exciting. I really like it. Um, the first time I played through it, I wasn't really sure what was going on, but as I can understand, you know, it was mentioned a few missions ago that Count has a radio in his cockpit, as do I. And so we could hear Avril uh, and Cosette over the radio, uh, where other people couldn't. And so Count can hear them trashing the stuff on the elevator, and he knows that the shield is going to go down if they succeed. Uh, but he plays it up on the comms like, like he's making it happen, and it's just kind of you know, a throwback to, to him being a, <laughs> a serial liar. 
but then taking down all those propellers and the laser system and the the APS and everything that's all really cool except that uh you're being shot at by 30 different things. Now in that closing cutscene where the the new drones show up um <laughs> when the game came out a lot of people were like did the princess die? Was she parachuting down and then they just blew her up? Um cuz that's what it looks like and that that helmet flies off and so you're like oh no she exploded and her head fell off. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to have to go back and watch it again. I'm pretty sure what happens, though, is that Count sees her there, and he gets in the way of some missiles. That's how he gets hit uh, to protect her. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll have to go back and look, but she is not dead. She's still alive. Uh, it's just a confusing cutscene. I mean, all the cutscenes in this game are confusing. So, Count's plane has been damaged. We're good. No more arsenal birds. But now we have two drones that are supposedly as good as Mihai, and we had enough trouble taking him down once. And now we got to take on two of them. We will fight them next week, and we will end this campaign. Hope to see you there, and we'll see how many times I get shot down. 